Hello and welcome to the Yeard Challenge. I'm Ray Wiseman and I'm going to be growing my beard for an entire year. So welcome back to the Beard Cave. It's now day 13 in the Yeard Challenge and today we're going to be reviewing some hair care, beard care products. Uh, made by a company called Buy My Beard. I've tried these out and I'm just going to give you a bit of a report back on my findings. But before we do that, let's have a progress update on the beard growth. Okay, so as you can see, there's not a huge change. It's only been a couple of weeks. The areas that are most noticeable are where I used to have no hair growing at all because I used to shave it off there to trim the beard up. So uh, mainly around uh, this area, along the top of uh, bottom of my, uh, my lip. Uh, up here in the cheek area here, you can see there's a, some new growth there and underneath here where I used to shave underneath, that's, that's got quite spiky. The moustache you can see is now growing over my top lip so again, that's quite noticeable to me, but the overall beard area, it's a bit hard to spot any real difference. So what about these beard products? I never realised before I started with beard growing that you could do anything useful to your beard to make it moist, to make it smooth, to help it to grow and, and whatnot. So I invested early on in some cheaper, less expensive beer products by a company called Buy My Beard. Here they are, there's three of them. We have a, uh, a beard shampoo, some beard conditioner and face moisturiser, and some beard oil. Now, I've been uh, looking at the experts here for finding out what are these face care products are supposed to do. Number one is the beard oil. Now beard oil is there to lock in the moisture in your beard and to make it feel nice and to moisturise the skin of your face. The idea being to put this on maybe once or twice a day after you've had a shower to lock in the moisture into your beard. So that's an essential. The second thing that they mention is something called face balm or beard balm. And that's really more of a styling product. It's not exactly moustache wax, it's not that stiff but it, it helps you to have some small control over the shape of your beard. It's a bit more sticky than, than uh, beard oil. And then the third thing is moustache wax, which is very stiff um, beeswax based product that enables you to, to get your, your moustache into some decent shape. I've got a couple of those and I'll be reviewing those in another episode. So let's start uh, with the Buy My Beard Beard Oil. That's uh, this one here. I don't know if you can see that. It's a nice little container there, about 30 mil. It's got a, a nice pump action top. You just press the lid down and you can put one or two pumps into your hand there and then you know, moisten your hand with the oil and rub it into the beard and moustache, which, which is good. And this seems quite nice stuff. It's, it's ridiculously cheap. Uh, some people have been buying this apparently for less than a pound a bottle uh, in discount supermarkets. So it's very inexpensive and it contains mostly natural products. There's some good oils in there. Whoops, hitting the fan there. I've made some notes here. There's some sweet almond oil. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see. Sunflower, avocado, argan, jojoba, and a lot of citrus essential oils. So it smells pretty nice, it seems to do a good job. Now I'm going to be mixing my own oils. Again I'll be covering that in another uh, episode. I've already mixed the first one, uh, which I'm very proud of. So I probably won't be using this long term, but if I were to keep buying oils I, I would stick to this. Uh, it's, uh, it's good stuff, could recommend it. The second product to look at is the Buy My Beard Beard Shampoo, which comes in quite a big container you can see here. Um, now, one of the big uh, advices by the experts, again, for, for beards is not to shampoo them every day with regular shampoo. In fact, they're saying something like, make it once, twice, at most three times a week, and use some proper beard shampoo, which is much milder 
uh, than your, your regular stuff that maybe your wife would use on her hair. I used to just use shower cream, you know, on my, my head every day and every, you know, maybe even twice a day on, on my hair and beard. Now this stuff here is actually quite nice. I'm only using it once a week. Uh, so it's not going to have a big effect, but I, I wasn't so impressed with what it had in it. It's got uh, sodium lauryl sulfate. Uh, it has um, glycerin in it. It has a number of things that aren't exactly recommended uh, for putting in your beer. But nevertheless, it doesn't seem too bad. There's, there's certainly some natural ingredients in there. It feels pretty good when it's on your beard. And as I'm using it only once a week, I thought maybe I'd, I'd just carry on and finish the bottle. Not bad stuff. Seems perfectly pleasant. All of these products incidentally get very good reviews by people who've used them on Amazon. Nobody seems to hate these but um, I think I, I'll probably change to something else when that bottle runs out. The third one here is this face or moisturizer and beard conditioner. Um, now I, I was pretty unimpressed with what's in this. It's got some nasty things in. Again there's glycerin in it but it also has uh, stearic acid, um, methanol, all kinds of stuff in it that you know you're going to be using every day. So I, I thought maybe I, I wouldn't use this on my beard. The other but main reason I have is that I don't know where this stuff fits in. It's not beard oil, it's not beard balm, it's not wax for your moustache, it's some other stuff that you put on before the oil. Um, so I couldn't really think what use there was for it. So I've decided for this, this beard moisturiser, I'm going to finish the bottle off on the rest of my head. It's actually very nice on your head and face because it's got this um, uh, menthol in it, which gives you a nice kind of a, a tingly feeling. So it, it feels good when you're putting it on for about 10 minutes afterwards and your face does stay moist. I use it in the evenings just before I go to bed. So it's pretty nice stuff for your face and the, the top of your head, but I'm not going to use that on my beard. Uh, I'm probably not going to use anything like that on the beard. It's not long enough yet, this beard, for beard balm. There's no styling you can do there. It doesn't have the length for it. But I'm going to stick with the oil and eventually change to my own homemade oil. So that's it for this week, 13 days in. Bit of growth there, keeping up the morale with, um, uh, with these products that I've been using. Keeps up the interest. One thing I did notice actually, taking all these photographs of myself with the, uh, you know, the daily photo with the beard, how jolly awful your face looks uh, when you're 62 years old, like me. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty rough stuff. You can see the bags under my eyes and everything. It's just really just <laughs> pretty terrible. So one advantage of having a big beard, I think, is it's going to draw attention away from what's going on up here, the deterioration, if you like, in, in my, my, my general facial skin. But also, of course, down this end, it's going to cover a load of, load of stuff up. It's going to hide a multitude of sins. And of course, in general, because I'm now looking after my skin better than I was before, uh, I'm hoping my general face appearance will improve over the time. OK, that's it for now. I'm Ray Wiseman. This is the Great Yeard Challenge. See you again next time.